wrestled in the area extensively. Both of them were a huge part of the United Wrestling Collision. These two know each other quite well. Looks like if they're sizing each other up, Jimmy getting the crowd behind him. There's the tie-up, first lock-up. I promise you it won't take long for this to escalate. They don't, Jimmy, they, don't, the ropes. they don't need a whole lot of time to figure out how the other one works. They're gonna both jump straight to their hips as soon as they can on this. This will get explosive. A little more circling. Another tie-up, Conrad and Jimmy tied up. This time, Conrad getting the upper hand, forcing Jimmy into the corner. And you have to wonder how well Jimmy is able to focus on this right now. Straight to the body. His arch nemesis of recent days, Fabian Barbosa, has progressed in this tournament as well. Jimmy knows now that if he wins this match, he finally gets to get his hands on Fabian. Getting the crowd behind him again. But he can't look past Conrad to Fabian. Conrad is a dangerous man, and like I said earlier, something seems different about him tonight. Jimmy's basking in his, in his fans right now. And Conrad giving him all the time he needs. Now Conrad seems to be distracting Jimmy to the other ropes. I think we've seen more talking than wrestling. You know what? I wonder if they're thinking their strategies through right now, trying to get that a little bit of extra time to recuperate from their last matches. Jimmy's telling them, bring it on. Here's another tie-up. Even dead center in the ring, and Conrad across the head. Twists the arm, brings Jimmy to the ground. Oh, putting a little force on that wrist lock, bringing it back behind him. Oh, Jimmy in bad shape now. He might have had his thumb too on that one. He might have been really messing up his grip with that hole. Oh, wrenching that shoulder. Jimmy countering with the headlock. Conrad's head right into the turnbuckle. Throws him out of the ring. Conrad stays on his feet, but he's dizzy. We're gonna see a lot of this. We're gonna see Jimmy to the ropes. Uh oh. Okay. Oh no, there he goes. It's baseball slide. Conrad to the ground. Jimmy on the outside apron looking at his opponent. What's going through his mind? This is a very unpredictable match. Powder can't call him for something. He's off the ropes. He's bouncing moonsault to the ground. And he landed on his feet. That was ugly. Jimmy will grapple you. He will strike you. And he will fly right over and down onto you. A lot of energy and oh, Fabian's out. Here. Fabian's out here. What's he doing out here? Fabian can't be out here. If Fabian lays a single finger on Jimmy, or if Jimmy attacks Fabian outside their match, they're both out of the tournament. I don't know what Fabian thinks he's gonna. Oh! And there's Conrad capitalizing. Oh, does he have a weapon? Oh, good. God, that's Fabian's. Oh, that's... that can't be good for his ribs. I think Fabian passed that foreign object off to him when the ref wasn't looking. Oh no! Arm, leg, twerking his ribs across the ropes. Kicks him out of the ring. Conrad is now in complete control of this match. I don't think Fabian wants to face Jimmy. I don't know if he's gonna have to now. Jimmy is hurt. Conrad's so hurting on those ribs. God, I don't know if he'll be able to fight Fabian after this. I don't know if this match is gonna go to the end. I think this might be the end for oh, Jimmy Carrot. Stepping right on the ribs of Carrot. He's in pain, no doubt, but on top of oh, that... Oh, ribs right into the corner of the apron. On top, on top of the pain, can he even breathe right now? He already had one high-octane match against Sensei Bach. He's already wrestled several minutes against Conrad here. He's flown all around and outside the ring. Those, those ribs might be squeezing down on his lungs right now, keeping him from getting a full breath. And you know if those ribs are hurt, oh, to the ribs again, not only does that stop his cross body blocks, not only does it keep him from moonsaulting, oh, jumping splash of the ribs again. The Gold Star Press. The Gold Star Press will suffer two count. His own face. 
finisher might work against him now. I'm not sure if he's going to have enough in him for that gold star press. There goes the oh. super old Jimmy counter, and he's fighting around. And he's lucky. If he'd gotten the body scissors on that, that would have done even more damage to the ribs. A couple of elbows to come in. Conrad right to the ribs again. Stepping right on those ribs. Conrad knows what he's doing, and he goes right over him. All of that body weight directly on the back and ribs. Jumping, oh, bringing the knees down on the ribs. Carrot is in bad shape. We saw this mean streak in this match against Oliver Kane. Conrad will hurt any part of the body that he can get a hold of. And that's exactly what he's doing right Looking now. Looking like a drop kick right to the ribs. This is bad for Carrot. I don't know what he's gonna do. He certainly can't move like he's supposed to be moving. And a lot of his maneuvers suffer from injured ribs. Jimmy Carrot's oh. torso is just a huge bullseye now at this point. It's the biggest part of his body and it's the most vulnerable now, thanks to Fabian Barbosa's interference. Staying focused on those ribs. This is bad. I don't know how Jimmy is supposed to recover from this. Conrad is not letting up on that midsection. Jimmy is getting beaten around the ring. Around the ring, outside the ring. And then a kick to the ribs, another kick to the ribs. He is not letting up. Jimmy took those getting into the ring. All of his weight and those knees on that rib midsection. He is making Jimmy suffer now. I told you. Conrad loves to inflict pain. A little bit of it. Finally an opening. Finally, Jimmy has an opening, but he has to be so careful. He can't, he can't move around that quickly for that long now. Is. You see the effect, Jawbreaker. You see the effects of all of that rib focus. He can't waste any motion, because I don't know if he can even catch his breath at this point. Oh, and he misses and turns up the clothesline. I think that that's all the momentum gone now. Yep, Jimmy force Garrett. him into the corner. Multiple four, five shoulder blocks to the ribs. I have to wonder how far away referee Sean Rife is from just calling this match off. At, at some point, at some point, the damage is just too serious to allow him to compete. And you have to think, even if he makes it through this match, he still has to wrestle the third time on someone who knows he has injured ribs. Look at those knees to the ribs. Not just someone who knows he has injured ribs, someone who helped his ribs get injured. Fabian did this as much as Conrad did. Fabian knows how to, he knows how to undercut a match. He may not be able to out-wrestle, he may not be able to out-strike, but he can certainly outthink his opponents, Sean Life, asking if, if he can even continue this match. Oh! Spinning in Zaguri, taking Conrad to the ground. But there goes Jimmy, too, right back to the ground as well. Jimmy can't even capitalize, holding those ribs. All he can do now is very short flurries of offense. Jimmy fighting in the corner. Conrad making more headway than he is. After that maneuver, Conrad might wait, be wait. They're both They're both going to the top rope on opposite sides. There's no way. There's no way Jimmy has this top rope maneuver in him. They just noticed, look at they that. They just realized. What happens now? Neither of them are getting down. They're both going, oh! oh. It Jimmy. looks like a clothesline to Conrad's knee. Jimmy with the two count. Jimmy needs to put this away if he's gonna continue at all. He's back up. Oh, another atomic drop. Northern Lights, boom! One, two! some ground, but he has miles left to go if he wants to catch up. Again, here comes a suplex. Oh no, he goes forward and racks his ribs across the ropes. Those, oh, to the ribs. Those, those ropes are steel cables. Those are not soft ropes. A regular suplex would hurt badly enough. Oh, but he just dropped him. All of that pressure was on a thin line of steel. Knee to the ribs, wrenching up on that neck. 
How much gas does Jimmy Carrot have left? The audience is trying to rally Jimmy on here. Oh, it's gonna have the backbreaker. Goes for the pin. One, two, and a kick out at two. It's not enough. It's not enough. This match is too all much Carrot has. some pretty big mistakes at this point for Jimmy to have a chance to catch up. I don't think Jimmy's hurt. I think Jimmy is injured. And oh, no, an RKO. Oh, nice little cutter takes him to the ground. That might be it. Jimmy, it looks like he's... One, two, oh, that definitely... I definitely thought that was three. It looks like Conrad has started to wear himself out. He's breathing heavy now. He's beating Jimmy up so much that he has to go One. And there's a kick out, and Conrad escaping to the outside to recover. This may be the only hope he has. And Jimmy flying inside to out with a cross body block. But how much did he hurt himself with that maneuver? I don't think Jimmy has any concern for those ribs. He is going to put this one away. He wants Fabian. That's adrenaline only that's keeping him going right now. And Jimmy going to the top. What's he saying? Is he going for the gold star? There's a gold star. Drop it. One, two, and three. That's the match, ladies and gentlemen. Jimmy Carrot has lost his mind. Jimmy Carrot has lost his mind.